today we're going to be talking about a new product that we've released. This is for the Mark 7 and Mark 8 Golf R's. The products are FM INT 24 and FM INT 32. That's dependent on which chassis of a vehicle or what model of vehicle you're fitting it to. Why do we upgrade our intercooler? So the main reason is to decrease the inlet air temperature into the engine as best as possible. That in turn means the colder the air within the cylinder, the bigger the bang, so you can put more fuel in and create more power. So the stock intercooler does a good job on a stock vehicle. However, once you start to tune the vehicle, it can start to become heat soaked because of the size. The tubes inside aren't uh, internally baffled as well, and that can result in the air temperature raising. Ultimately, what happens is your ECU then retires the ignition, and it pulls out the power, and your car doesn't perform as well. 10 years ago, we developed our first iteration and solution for the Golf Mark 7 GTI and Golf Mark 7 R. This product was called FM MK7 F. MIC, so that stands for Frontline Intercooler. Really good product in its day. The fit was good. It's a 50 mil core, bar and plate construction, but it still had a 63 millimeter inlet and outlet. Um, so that's pre and post intercooler, exactly the same as the OEM item. It was great at the beginning, worked really well on a stock vehicle and worked really well on stage one cars. However, Mark 7R became more and more popular with the tuners. They started to push the limits and the boundaries further and further more with ECU tuning, hybrid turbos, etc. What actually happened is this particular intercooler started to struggle around 420, 430 horsepower. With the arrival of the new Mark 8 Golf, we decided to go back to the drawing boards to see if we could better our original design. You might wonder how much bigger is this intercooler than the stock intercooler because physically, they sort of do look very similar in size. What we've managed to do is we've squeezed a slightly more surface area, so that's a 10% increase in surface area over your, your stock intercooler. Now we've also made the intercooler a lot thicker, so this stock intercooler is actually only 33 millimeters in depth there. Fairly small really, considering the sort of power output that, that the car has. So we've gone thicker on this, and it's thicker than our previous generation. This one is a 60 millimeter core, which in turn equate volumetrically to 83% more volume than the OEM item. So nearly twice as much air can be cooled through this component than your OEM. 83% over the stock and a 20% increase over our previous generation. We've utilized all of the space every millimeter within the vehicle. We've also increased the inlets and outlets. So we've gone from a 63 millimeter in and out on the OEM, 63 millimeter on our old intercooler in and out to a 76 millimeter in and out. The intercooler does come with hoses. Again, they're slightly different depending on if it's for a Mark 7, 7.5 or a Mark 8. By increasing it to 76 millimeter there, it's basically increased the surface area with the pre and post cooler by 45%. Quite a nice amount. This means that the more the boost is increased on software, the intercooler doesn't have too much of a pressure drop and it flows the air really, really well. Now, what we've also done is we've included on the inlet, so this is the hot side blowing into this end tank, we have a baffle that splits the air, it runs up inside of the end tank in here. And what that means is it means that the air, as the RPM increases, doesn't just sort of concentrate going down here. What it does is it forces the hot air up to the top of the core and it utilizes all of that area, which in turn means for better cooling. We had some really, really good results for this on a stock vehicle, so 100% stock, just swapping out the OEM to the Forge FM INT24 or 32 into cooler. We saw a gain of 11 brake horsepower. The test was actually on a hotter day than when we ran the OEM. So 11 brake horsepower, and it also gave 20 Newton meters of torque at five and a half thousand RPM. Really happy with those results. If this is to be put on a tuned vehicle, the yields will be a lot greater over the stock item. The other thing with this is it's 100% plug and play. If you want to remove it from the vehicle for warranty purposes or you want to sell the vehicle, maybe you've got a Mark 7 and then you want to buy a Mark 8R, you could, in theory, take this intercooler from the Mark 7, change the hoses, fit it to a Mark 8. The fit on this is 
very, very good. It uses and is supplied with OEM bracketry. They pop on here. The condenser is really easy to fit, so it, it just slots into these mounts. The fastener is put here to stop the condenser from jumping out. That was a big design change over the old intercooler because we had clamps across here. Customers give us feedback. They told us actually it can be really hard to get it in the car, get it in position. To reduce time on installation and just to make it easier, put some good thought in, into these and it makes life so much better with um, installation. The upper brackets, where the radiator is mounted into, they have also changed now. So the first one, we used to put some O-rings around here that would reduce the slop now fits perfectly we're really pleased with this intercooler it's something to shout about we've supplied it to some tuners certainly in the uae um, and some of the hotter countries that have installed these on mark 8 hours running over 500 horsepower um, and also some of the mark 7.5 hours so for the price point the lifetime guarantee that we cover you with all forge products it's, it's a no-brainer if you're enthusiastic and you're into modifying cars and trying to make them go faster please check out fmint32 www.forgemotorsport.co.uk check out our products get in touch any advice you need please don't hesitate to contact us and um, get one of these on your cars Thank you so much.